my name's Lime Skull, and today we're going to unbox and review the Halo Warthog playset made by Jazzwares. And I haven't done a video in a long time as I've been focusing on my second channel, Gus the Beard Dragon, and I'll put that in a link in the description maybe. But enough of me rambling on, let's go. Jesus Christ, I can barely fit this into the camera, it's so big. But yeah, like what I usually do, let's take a look at the box first. But the weird thing about this box is that usually with the Halo figures, it's got like a bubble here. This time it's just got a picture of the vehicle. And then over here, we have another Master Chief, but this is the only figure that comes with it. Which is kind of sad, as we've got about a billion Master Chiefs. But that doesn't matter, as it is a cool figure. And down here it says Warthog. Warthog. I, I think that it says Warthog, not Warthog. And then here it, it's got a symbol here. And I think that is on Master Chief's costume. I'm not 100% sure what it means. And then here we've got Master Chief running like all the Halo boxes. And it's got some copyright things down here. And then here it doesn't have anything. It just says U-N-S-C and Halo. It doesn't have too much here. So. so there's the box. And now let's open this up. Jesus Christ, this is massive. Okay, now the tape has been pulled off, let's open this up. I think I pulled it off this side. Ugh, I don't want to wreck the box, as I think these are quite rare. Oh, wait, what? There's even more tape there. Hate. I hate tape so much right now. So much of it. Yeah, I really don't want to wreck the box. Let's do this. Okay, all done. Ooh, okay, here we go. This might be a pain to open up. Okay. Uh. Whoa, look at this. So I think we do need to build it. Not like Lego build, but like... Uh, well, yeah. Not really like Lego build, but it does uh, come with instructions. So yeah, it does... We do have to put the wheels on and put, like, a gun on. Okay, Jesus. I don't want to throw away this cardboard. Like, it's like what I said. These, This is probably quite expensive. I think I got it for, like, £25. But I think I got quite lucky there as it was on offer. It's usually about 30 to 35 So, yeah, here it is. This is absolutely massive. And you can already spot all the detail on it, but before we do a review, we need to actually build this. Okay, so we take a look at the instructions here. We probably don't need these, but it says we have to put the wheels on first. And the wheels seem to be in here. There they are. Hopefully they're not, like, stuck down. Oh, damn it, they are stuck down. For God's sake. Okay, so I've got most of it out. I haven't, like, fully, like, opened it like him. Just take him out first. Yeah, it is the same figure. Oh man, this is going to be a bit annoying. Let's just rip this. I don't really care anymore about the packaging. As it is just cardboard. Oh man. So I, I wish they just put it in a bubble. Like, I know it's quite big. But I wish they just put it in a bubble. Okay, this should work now. I think. Uh, here we go. I feel like they just don't want kids to play with this figure. Because it's so hard to get out. Okay, there's Master Chief. We'll take a look at him in a bit. Then his gun. Oh, man. Okay. I don't think... I think it, this is a new gun. I think this is exclusive. But yeah, so now we've got this guy out. He... Actually, it's really awesome. But yeah, it is the same figure. Let me go get the other one. Okay, I didn't bother getting the other two. I've only got one. So I've got four Master Chiefs in total. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have a whole army of these. But so yeah, so the one that we got was one of the right. And the other one is one of the left. But yeah, it is a bit different with the paint. As this one's a bit darker. And this one's a bit... But it doesn't have any dirt on it. But yeah, so it's same articulation, same sculpt. But this one, like, it does that. I don't think this one does do that. 
Well, it does, but this one's a bit more looser. That's cool, that is. It's got a ball joint there. And then let, now let's take a look, look at the gun. This is just a pretty cool, like, it, it, I can't speak, I don't know why I'm stuttering, I'm feeling just really excited. But yeah, so this can stick on his back. Okay, come on, it's so fiddly, these, but when you get it in, it's worth it. So there you go, his gun's on his back. And then he can hold it, but it does take a while to put him in a good pose. Yeah, so let's put him aside now. If you want to see a full review of this guy, go take a look at uh, the Mongoose uh, review. That's my first video that I ever made, so go check that out if you want to. Now let's take a look at the car. Hope this isn't too hard to put together. So let's put the wheels on first. Ooh, this is cool. The wheels are made out of rubber. It's not too much detail on them, but they're made out of rubber. That's cool, that is. Okay, so let's try and get these on without breaking anything. Ugh. I, I think this is going to be really hard. I might have to do this off camera. Oh, there we go. It's not that hard. It just clips in. There's one wheel. So I guess you can take the wheels back off. So let's say if you're playing with it, then it crashed, and then it would fall off. I don't know. To be honest, I bet people wouldn't really be playing with these, as these figures are more towards like a teenager than a kid. As I don't think a five-year-old will be playing uh, Halo. But yeah, so nearly done. Ugh, that last one was hard. Okay, so there's like the base of the vehicle done. It's like the basic part of the vehicle finished. And then now we have some accessories. Oh, go on, this is sick. Look at this. Don't think it's got any articulation. Still, that oh no, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, that's cool. That is, and then this probably does clip into here if I'm not wrong. So, I think I need two hands for this. There we go. That should is that in properly? I think it is. So, next, I saw we have these. Okay, don't know what they are. Right, I've never seen such, like, difficult packaging. I know you're probably all bored out of your brains trying to see me pull these out of a piece of plastic, but but now I think I've got everything out. Yep, I do. So let's see where these things are supposed to go. So, I think this is supposed to go in here. Yeah, that does go in there, 100%. This, I think this is, like... The ammo, this is where the ammo goes for the gun. Might be wrong about that. I think I actually am. So I can't see a place where it could fit. Uh, I'm just going to try and figure this out. Oh wait, there it is. I think that can go into there. And then it goes, yeah, that's it, 100%. Okay, let's get this bit in. To here. Come on. Man, I'm so excited to see this when it's finished fully. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Oh wait, what? It doesn't even... Oh wait, yeah, it does. I was like, that hole is so small, but there's a bit of the end which it clips into. Okay, there we go, finally. I think this car is done. Let's put this into focus. Okay. Now we gotta figure out where these go. I don't know why I said it was dumb, so it's not. I need to move all this, all this out of the way because I bet some of you are really annoyed that it's just rubbish all over the ta table. On this packaging, okay. Oh, wait, this is pretty simple. Uh, it goes. Wait, what? Where, does, where do these go? Oh, wait, no, it goes here. Jeez. Okay, and that one goes there because it's got two holes. And this one goes here. It's got quite a lot of accessories with it. Which I'm happy about. So this is definitely worth the price. Like I wouldn't pay over like £40 for this. But it's worth like... 30 to like... I don't know, £35. Okay, hopefully that's in fully. 
Wow, that took long. That took 10 minutes to put this together. Let's move these scissors out of the way because I don't want to stab myself accidentally. Okay, so how how do we start this? So obviously it can like go forward and back because it's a car, it's a toy car. Then on the front, it doesn't have like a, this doesn't actually come out, it's just uh, sort of moulded in. And it's got two uh, things here. I'm not sure what they're for. But let's move on. And here it's got like a little vent. Hear that? Hear that? I, like, I really like that noise. But that's really random. I don't know why I said that. And then I don't know what this is here. Do you know what? I'm not going to point out every single detail. I'm just going to do the main details. So we've got a bit of a pole here. That probably helps in like, get into it. With like a another step here and then a what's this oh it's a symbol again and it is l l i n s c i don't know it had an i in it I probably need glasses and then yeah back here it's got all the gas and then here yeah it's got this pole it's got like the antenna i don't know what that's for though and then underneath jesus that's a lot of detail underneath Wow, although it is a one colour, it's still a lot of detail. And I don't know why they put so much detail on the underneath, because you're not really going to see that, well, most of the time. And then now let's go in here. Got like a, like a drawer here, but that doesn't open. And we've got like a keypad here. And then here we've got a steering wheel again. It doesn't, oh, it doesn't move? No, it doesn't. I've nearly just broke it then, nearly just pulled it off because this is really delicate. Look how wobbly it is. And here, you've got some more. It probably shows how fast it's going, how many miles per hour it's going. But yeah, and then final thing I want to t talk about is this gun. There's a lot of detail in this. This is also made out of rubber, I forgot to say that. And then I think the character can clip onto this so it can probably start shooting bad guys. Oh wait, it does move, I think, but it's really stiff. So I was wrong about that earlier. But yeah, let, let's put uh, some characters inside. So here we've got uh, Master Chief. Let's take his gun off. Zack keeps falling off, I don't know why. Okay, so hopefully this isn't a nightmare to get him in. Hopefully it's like the Jurassic Park Jeep. Which is really easy to get the characters in. Ugh. I do like the joints of these characters. I like how stiff they are and how, like, they don't fall apart all the time. Well, mine don't, at least. Okay, let's try and get this guy in now. They also have, like, a really good range of uh, articulation. Oh, come on. Please fit. Oh, wait, I think he's supposed to just go in like that. Wait, there we go. There he is. He's driving his car. So that is that is pretty cool. Maybe we can put the Marine in. I don't know if this is more for the Marine or Master Chief. Let's take a look. So I'll grab the Marine over here. There's, obviously he's a lot smaller as he's just like a normal human. Let's try and get him in. Let's turn this around. And I have a whole army going to war or going to fight the evils. Okay, let's get this in. I think he's quite, gonna be quite easy to get in. Yeah, there we go. So then, there we go, we've got him. Now let's put another Master Chief on the back. So I think he can like hold on to it. Uh, let's see, how do we do this? Hmm. So I did see that he can hold on to it, but I don't know where. Hmm, I'll have to figure this out again. Okay, finally, there we go. So he just clips into the side. It is really hard to do. That might not be the area that he's supposed to clip in, but he can go in there. So, wow. Okay, this is definitely worth it. So if you've got a spare, like, £30 or £40 and you're a big fan of Halo, I do recommend this very much. 
But yeah, it is a great piece. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe if you enjoy my content, like usually. That's pretty much it. And like I always say, now I'm going to get the hell out of here.